So now that we have our basic authentication set up so that users can create accounts, we need to implement some kind of restrictions in our database to ensure users can only access records that belong to them. Well, that's where row level security comes in. Now the key way to restrict what data users can access inside of your application is by using something called row level security. And so in Superbase, I have my marketing tasks table. And when I first created this, I disabled all RLS, AKA row level security. And so what this means is that basically anyone could do whatever they want with my table. So a non-authenticated user could edit the data, could read the data, could delete the data. They could do whatever they like, which obviously isn't secure. And so to secure this table, I'm going to want to use row level security. And so I'll press enable RLS for this table. I will enable RLS. And so from here, I could press add RLS policy, then create policy. And from here, I could manually put in the SQL to create the policy, or I could select one of the pre-made ones on the right-hand side. However, the simplest way to create RLS policies is by actually just using WeWeb AI. Now, before I do that, one thing to note is that when you're dealing with tables, where the records in the table need to be linked to a certain user, so that specific user can only read and edit the data, you're likely going to need some kind of user ID column in the table that links to the user that the record belongs to. And so in my marketing tasks table, I'm going to need to add a user ID column that links to the user that the record belongs to, so only they can edit and access the data. And so now, inside of WeWeb, I'm going to prompt the AI to first add that user ID column and then add all of the row level security that I need. So we've now been given the query that we can run. And so I'll deploy this, confirm it. And so if I now check Superbase, I should see a new user ID column added to the marketing tasks table, which I do. And when I go into the table and check the RLS policies, I can see we now have all of these appropriate policies. And so now in the marketing tasks table, I can see in this user ID column, all of the records currently have a user ID of null, meaning they're not linked to anyone. And so if I switch back to WeWeb, I'm currently logged in as my own user. And so since none of those records are linked to me, when I refetch the data, I shouldn't actually receive any records back because I'm only able to access records that belong to my user account. And so when I refresh the page to get the latest data, I can see it's an empty list. And if I check the base collection itself, I can see we're not getting any data back. And that's because I don't have any records linked to my user account. And so what I can do is in Superbase for this example, I'm going to click into this record and I'm going to assign it to my user account. And so since this record is now linked to me, when I refetch the data in WeWeb, I should receive this record back. So when I press fetch Superbase to get the latest data, I can see I've got that single record back and I can see it in my interface. So we can see we now have the restriction in place so that users can only read data that belongs to them. And the next step in the context of my app is that when a user adds a task, I need to ensure that the task created belongs to their user account. And so what I need to do is that inside of the workflow that sends this task to Superbase, and inside of the insert action, where I assign all of the fields that I want to send to Superbase, in the field selector, I'm going to want to enable the user ID field because I want to define which user this new record belongs to. And to do so, I'm going to want to bind the user ID, open the authentication tab of the binding window, expand this user object, and here I'm going to want to pass the ID of the user. And so now when I put this into preview mode and fill out the form, When I press save, this record will be added to Superbase. And when we check Superbase, we should see that the user ID of this new record belongs to my user account. So when I press save, we can see we have that new record inside of our interface because it belongs to me as a user. And when I check Superbase, I can see we have this new record in the table and its user ID belongs to my user account. And so now that we have these security policies set up, Maybe we want to get even more granular with what users are allowed to do. So in this example, we've set up security so that only users can read records that belong to them. But what if we want admins to have full privileges, meaning admins could read all of the records, delete all of the records, 
do whatever they wish with all of the records. Well, that's where we need to introduce roles. I'll see you in the next step to learn how we do this.